Hello, it is me, Laura Marie. I am ready to actually show you something that I never thought that I would share on a video, but I think it's going to help a lot of people. Um, and that is, first of all, uh, number one, I'm not a doctor and you must speak to your rheumatologist about this or your PCP or whomever you deal with your autoimmune disorder. Uh, I personally take Humira on a bi-weekly basis and I'm going to show you how to inject this pen right here, the Humira pen. Um, and it was quite funny that I ended up wearing a shirt that says this, that it's quite, it's very expensive to be me. <laughs> I did not do this on purpose. I think it's hysterical. I'm literally ready for bed. Um, and I'm like, oh crap, I have to put my Humira injection in. And I thought I better share this because it's important. There are a lot of people in my group, uh, the psoriatic arthritis group that have asked, oh my gosh, how do we inject? Is it hard? What do we do? What, how, um, is it painful? Lots of those questions. Um, this is a self auto inject pen. You will see everything. Uh, I, again, I am not a doctor. I'm just showing you what I personally do for uh, my Humira injection bi-weekly. And this is what I've done for over 10 years and I'm sharing it with you. So here we go. Let's start off with our supplies. Okay. Yes, lots of those, sorry. Okay, you know I do this in one take. One take only, that's me. If I epically screw up, that's life, right? Here's what we need. You need your Humira pen. You need it to have your prescription on it. I'm not showing you mine, of course, obviously. You need to have your Humira pen. You need to make sure that this or whatever biologic or whatever pen you're utilizing, that you make sure that you leave it out as per instructions. Maybe yours is different. For Humira itself, leave it out a minimum of 15 minutes out of the refrigerator because these need to be stored in the refrigerator. Leave it out room temperature for a minimum of 15 minutes. Why? Because if you inject it cold, it's gonna hurt like hell. And I mean, hurt like hell. So a lot of people are just like, oh my God, why did it hurt so badly? Why, 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 why? It's because you didn't let it sit out. You didn't follow the instructions. Read your instructions, medication guide. This, if you want to learn all about the PDR stuff, physician's text reference, um, all that kind of stuff. This will come with it. These are alcohol wipes. You must use a sharps container. Um, it is a uh, biological container that um, you can use. You can see I have pens in there. Um, and you can drop this off several places. Drop it off at a fire department, a police station, um, your, I don't know if your doctor's office will take it or not, or you can contact whomever you need to contact uh, who gave you this and they will tell you how to dispose of it. Do not throw this in the trash. Please, please, please do not. Okay, so I also personally happen to have isopropyl alcohol here because sometimes this is just not enough. So for me, I either take, I've already washed my hands, clean hands, easy. What I'm going to do is there are several places that you can inject. Personally, for me, for me, up to you, discuss with your doctor. I will inject in my arm and I will inject, and this is where we're going to inject today, in my thigh, okay? That's what we're gonna do. I actually had a um, little mini surgery today. Thank you to my doctor, he was awesome. I had an ingrown toenail, it sucked because I got it ripped off at the beach. And when it grew back in, grew back in and grown. Oh, well, what the hell? Um, so here we are. 
This is not made for children. This is not a guide on how to inject yourself. This is an actual self-injectable pen, okay? Here we go. First thing is, like I said, leave this. I already ripped this open. Leave this sit out for a minimum 15 minutes as per Humira instructions. I personally, I'm using isopropyl alcohol. If you want to utilize these, that's fine. I just personally don't think it gives you enough of a, an area to utilize. So me, I have a sterile. Give me a lot, okay? I'd rather be safe than sorry. So what I'm going to do is take this and I am going to rub my leg up and down. Yes, I'm only gonna inject in one spot, but you know what? Sometimes you sit there and go, where did I put the rubbing alcohol? Now, I took a big time shower today. I was clean as a whistle. Uh, and you will still see dirt on there, see? That's just life as it happens on a daily basis. See that? Okay, that's why you clean. Do not blow this dry. You know why? Very simple. People don't think about things like this, okay? The reason why you do not blow to make it dry is because when you blow, you have germs in your breath, correct? So wave it. Let it dry. If you're so inclined to make it dry, fine. Does it hurt? No, it does not. First thing you want to check, this is Humera only. I'm only going to show you Humera because this is what I use. Inside, there's a little bubble. Let me close up in on this. Okay, there's a little bubble in here. This is where the medicine is. You want to make sure it's clear. It's not cloudy. Check both sides. And make sure that there's not a little yellow thingy in there because that would mean it was empty. Follow the instructions. Take off number one. Okay. You see, I was not super gentle. Take off number two. You saw I'm all clean. Let's get a little close up on this. So you can see exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. This is my thigh. Okay. I am going to squeeze my thigh. I'm going to take the pen. I'm going to push. Well, I want you to act before I do that. I want you to see. I want you to see right here. Okay. Let me back it up just a little bit. You can zoom in if you want. But what's going to happen, as soon as I push this pen, it's going to go into my body. Okay. So I'm going to push my skin up. Now, I am going to push. Wait until you see that yellow dot. Continue. You see? The yellow is complete. I have a little bit of a mark right there. See that? See that? I'm done. Okay? That's it. That's it. All done. What I'm going to do is take the back of this, just wipe that off. And sometimes it hurts a little bit. So what I do is I just kind of rub around easily, gently. I also have a very, very clean sterile towel. What I do is just rub a little bit. Just tiny, easy, easy pushes, okay? We're not trying to hurt ourselves here. Tiny little bit of blood, Te that's it. You see that teeny dot of blood? That's it. Now, it's gone, whoosh, gone. Oh, that was, sorry, same side. Whoosh. No blood, no blood, all gone. And I'm done, that's it. It didn't hurt at all. Now, let's finish it up, repeat. Two goes to two, whoops, sorry. Two, do it again. Two goes back to two. 
yellow means it's completely dispensed. It will automatically stop on its own. I was talking. You will hear it just go, and it's done. But just look, watch your little window. You'll know it's done. Now, number one. Number one. Back together. I have my Sharps container. Pop it in. Shut that. Lock it. Put it somewhere safe away. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Here I am. It's done. Ta-da. Did not hurt. Not a bit. Because I left it out. I followed the instructions. And I know I'm good to go. So please talk to your doctor. Make sure you do everything that they say. Ask the nurses there how to inject prior to doing your injections. Um, they will demonstrate. 